My name is Sari Akawanis, and today I'm going to teach you how to make these gorgeous paper tulips. Um, everything, all the paper um, and um, wire and floral tape and everything pretty much that I show you in this um, tutorial uh, comes in my kit that I make over at uh, paperchickadee.com or no, it's paperchickadee.net. <laughs> <laughs> dot com was already taken so um, yes yeah, so uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, make these paper tulips um, tulips are uh, pretty they're not difficult to make but gee whiz they were difficult to figure out so I'm really uh, excited to show you how to make them today <laughs> okay so the first thing we're going to do is take a piece of floral wire and cover it in floral tape. Now, if you've never used floral tape before, it is a very odd thing. It really doesn't want to stick to anything at all except for itself. And even then, like a little begrudgingly, frankly, um, <laughs> but it's a very useful thing too. Um, so the way that you get it to stick, because as you can see, this has absolutely no stick at all. So the way that you get it to stick is to stretch it. So covering a piece of floral wire in floral tape is an act of stretching it and then pressing it against each other or stretching it and then twisting it. So it's kind of a two, a two for two part motion where you stretch the floral tape and then you uh, twist it around the wire. And because uh, tulips have a pretty thick stem, um, I'm going to give this a bunch of layers. Sorry about the ambient noise in my apartment. Um, people are out and about on a sunny day in Washington. <laughs> and so that was two layers. Let's do two more. And again, it's just the act of stretching it and wrap it, twisting it. So I'm stretching with this hand and I'm twisting with this hand. Great. Perfect, just like that. And if you don't um, end up getting one of my kits and you're just watching this tutorial to learn how to make a paper tulip, that's totally fine too. All of the papers and stuff, um, you can kind of uh, source yourself from other places. My papers are specially designed just for uh, the flowers that I teach, but um, you can really do it with just about any kind of um, paper. And you can get floral tape and floral wire at any craft store or online. It's very inexpensive online. <laughs> if you get it from the right place. I like consumer crafts. Okay. So that is all done and it's a little bit thicker now which is nice because uh, tulips have a nice thick almost like a straw. If you take them apart it is like a little straw stem. I guess it sucks up its uh, water and nutrients that way. So now what we're going to do is take out our um, sheet and this has already been cut down. Um, I've made a bunch of tulips with this sheet already so um, you get twice as many as uh, you see here in the kit and this is a paper called vellum which is really beautiful. It's a nice uh, semi-transparent paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is trim right to the top so that no white is kind of, no white's remaining, just like that. And now I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna save some time for next time and really cut into the, the top of the next row. So then that, that next row will be all ready to go when I make those flowers, which won't be in this video, but it will be um, happening, I'm sure, because I really enjoy making these uh, paper tulips. I'm very proud of how they came out. And now I'm just going to trim this just like that. Just kind of flush with the edge of the, um, the stamen shape. And I'm going to tell you this, I'm sure, a bunch of times in this tutorial, but um, do not be dear with the templates that I provided for you. Um, paper flowers, um, I think, are 
best achieved when they are um, a little, each a little bit different. So if you cut them out without stressing about cutting things out exactly on the line, um, they're gonna resemble nature much more clearly. So now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna roll this up. And the reason why we roll this up um, is because we're going to put this um, as the stamen on the top of the uh, stem. And the this paper has been flat its whole life. It's not known anything else. So uh, we roll things that we want to be kind of a more rolled shape because you wanna just kind of let the paper know that it's not gonna be flat anymore. And it's just kind of a nice little introduction. So I like to go back and forth. I roll it one way and then the other way. It's just a nice gentle way to get a nice tight roll without having to worry about um, getting it super tight that first time because it, it'll just see how much tighter that gets on the third, third back round. It's so much easier to do if you just kind of do it gently and um, don't really force it. A good, life, a good lesson for life too. Just kind of let things gently happen. <laughs> okay, so now we're just gonna take the first little stamen and there is a lot of excess white on there at the bottom, which is fine. You can leave as much as you want. It doesn't really matter too, too much. But that's a little more from, more than I like for my taste. And now, as you can see right here, you see how like there's like the faintest, faintest little um, kind of lines, like they're very faint on purpose so that you don't have to be too dear with it. Um, we're just going to separate these little stamen parts. And for the scientists among us, these little stamen parts on a tulip are called anthers which I think is kind of cute. It's like antlers for plants, anthers. <laughs> okay, so now we have our anthers all separated just like that. And we have our stem that we covered in floral tape. And now we are going to just attach these to the stem. And actually, I'm gonna set that, okay. I wanna set that a little bit deeper like that, um, just because um, you want the stem to, the petals to really have something to hang on to. So um, I put the stem right up to where uh, we made the cuts in the anthers. And now I'm just gonna secure that with a little bit of floral tape. You can use glue if you don't like floral tape. Floral tape is, um, odd like I said and um, you are welcome to use glue if you'd like you just have to hold it in place a little bit longer um, until the glue really sets a nice bond so that is our stamen stem the base of our beautiful little tulips I'm gonna put the rest of those stamen pieces aside for a minute and now in the kit you get a sheet like this and um, you can choose any of the colors. Obviously the same steps work for each color. It's just a different color. But um, for today, I'm gonna choose blue. Um, I went with like a really kind of Easter-y color theme with this kit. So um, blue is actually not a color that occurs in flowers too often, especially this nice light blue. You're gonna get a lot of violets and deep, deep dark blues um, in in flowers but this nice pastel -y blue is just kind of something that I thought would be pretty it doesn't actually occur so I'm just gonna I should have not talked during that that looks like a mess <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut out the blue and make that not quite a mess anymore by cutting and we're just gonna cut off the white so we don't want any white at the top or the bottom or in between. I mean, in between doesn't matter a ton. Um, you'll see why in a minute, but um, I'm just cutting off that excess white just like that. Perfect. And now we're gonna do the small petals first. So to do the small petal, 
we are going to separate them so you can see here there's um, the small petals and the large petals and we do the small petals first and we're just going to cut really really close to that template just kind of flush with it just like that but don't cut out the template yet because we have to accordion fold it and now we're going to just accordion fold and you don't really have to be too particularly careful with this accordion fold especially um, because the inside petals um, you don't really see the pattern that's printed on these templates um, or on this petal strip very much. So just kind of, um, you don't really have to stress too much about it. And you really don't have to stress at all about any of this. Paper flowers and crafting in general should be a really fl fun activity that um, makes you more relaxed and less um, stressed out. And I know that sometimes we try to be super perfect, but that's not really the uh, name of the game uh, with things that I like to make and the kits that I provide. So now what we're gonna do is the first thing we're gonna do is you can see how there's this um, triangle right at the top and the bottom. And the first thing we're gonna cut out is that triangle. And I made this very faint almost. Um, you, if you don't, you can, play around with different triangle shapes um, on this. Really uh, feel like feel like you really can um, do what you what your gut is telling you to do um, with these shapes. And that's why I kind of made them faint and of the same color as the um, petals themselves, just so you can uh, play around with it and it won't stand out that you didn't cut out exactly what Sarah's triangles look like. Because you should use yours, your ideas too if you want to, or use mine, it's totally up to you. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to cut out this small petal. And again, you don't have to be too dear with it. It's gonna come out much better if you make your own um, natural, how your hand wants to cut it out. Um, that's gonna look a lot more like a um, natural tulip just because tulips, especially tulips, uh, do not come all exactly the same. Perfect. Awesome. <clears throat> So now we have three for the price of one, and that's why we accordion fold them, so that you can get many, many petals out of one cut, and it really saves a ton of time. Now we have our glue and our brush, and my glue has gotten a little dry since I've been going on and on over here. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna load up my brush. A little hair in there, happens. And we don't want too much, not too little. Just play around with it and see, you'll get a feel for it pretty quickly. And now we are going to add our glue. So I like to um, just add a very, very thin amount at the top of that triangle that we made. And then this whole little, I call it a stump. You wanna cover this whole stump with glue, just like that. And now we're gonna kind of like cross the cross the legs. So we're just gonna cross that petal's legs. And that's a little too much, so I wanna back off a little bit more like that. Perfect. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the top. A little bit more glue. And for this top one, you only just need the thinnest amount of glue right at the very, um, right along the, just one of the sides of the um, triangle that we just cut out. And then we're gonna cross those too. And just like that. And I think that's why um, paper tulips are so elusive is because they require two um, kind of pleats like that instead of just one at the bottom, which is traditionally um, all you need 
for most flowers, but for this one you need two. And it is beguiling. Okay, so that's all done. And um, I think it's a good idea to wait for the um, glue to dry for just a minute or two on these. Um, you really just want that bond to get set up before you do this next step, which is to take a spoon. And we're gonna take, cause you see how there's, see how these are kind of pointy? That's like no good. Uh, I, I've, I've yet to come across a, a flower that's particularly pointy in its petals. <laughs> so um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this and hold it like so our thumb is kind of in that cup and then just just rub it against a spoon for a second or two and that's really going to make that nice and smooth just like a real petal awesome And now what we're gonna do um, to save a little bit of time, and if you wanna see how to make every single little moment of this um, flower, I have something called a slow TV paper tulip um, at the same YouTube channel you're watching this on. So take a look at that if you wanna know like every little detail. Um, I don't talk during it, but um, it does let you see kind of like how my hands are moving in much more close detail. So, to save a little bit of time, we have all three of our um, small petals all done. Now I'm just gonna load up my brush again. I don't know why I like such an, an excessive amount of glue to start and then I wipe almost all of it off, but that's for sure how I do glue. <laughs> And this is just a regular white glue. Um, my white glue tends to be a pH balanced white glue because that's my favorite kind, but um, literally any white glue will work. So now I'm just gonna add that right to the little, little stump. And we're gonna take our little stamen let's bend out these anthers and honestly if you didn't like doing that stamen step you really don't have to do it you um probably won't see the stamen very much um unless something like you know doesn't go exactly perfectly right you might catch a little glimpse of it and I think it makes it a little bit more realistic but if you don't like doing the stamen you don't have to do it it is optional so now we're just gonna press this up and hold it for just like a few minutes. Um, the first petals that you put on, actually all the petals because there's only six petals in a tulip, um, petal placement becomes more important than a lot of paper flowers tend to be because like with a rose you have so many petals and so many options um, that you can really uh, they can not be exactly the right spot and still look like a really good rose but um, the tulips take some practice and that's why there's quite so many in the kit that I uh, sell um, usually I don't do more than 12 flowers in a kit and usually it's more like nine sometimes even <laughs> depending on the flower but you get 18 in this kit and that is because there's a pretty good chance you there might be a mistake or two in some of them <laughs> okay so that first one is nice and bonded just like that and now I'm going to show you how to do the second one and like I said if you want to see like every single little step um watch the um of the slow tv uh youtube on the paper tulips which is in the same uh channel I think is what it's called I don't I'm not a, I like youtube for sure definitely but I'm not as like versed in like all of the specific names of things <laughs> okay so we have 
this one and now what we're going to do is we really I like to kind of match up the tops like you can see I'm trying to angle it so you can see my my hand cam and we really just want those to kind of oh that's the perfect that's the sweet spot we just want those two edges to line up just like that and then you hold that for a while and um, then you put the other one just where those um, and it kind of makes a really nice little um, pod almost and just know that the first time you try this it might not work exactly right you just need practice just try the next one and the next one will be better and the next one will be better than that so now um, you can see we've got our little beautiful little pod going with the um, small flowers or the small petals and um, once you get this just exactly the way you want it um, let it dry like go get a snack wait uh, maybe 10 15 minutes um, for it to really those bonds to really set up um, otherwise you might be mad because now we're gonna put a little bit of floral tape just at the bottom just to make sure that these are really really gonna stay on the stem and you don't have to go all the way up with this just a little bit at the bottom will really help um, those secure but if you don't wait until the glue dries and you just rush right ahead and put on the floral tape um, it does have the tendency to nudge these little petals and with such a precise placement you really just want to give it a little bit of time to dry so now we're going to do the um, big petals. So the big petals is the other half of that strip. And this is just um, the same thing already uh, accordion folded because you don't need to know how to do that again. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're just going to cut out the triangle just like before. And now, oh, oops, I want to do the top triangle too. So we're just gonna, it's just like it was before. Get that top and the bottom done. Triangles cut out and then cut out the actual petal shape itself. And because we're accordion folding, we only have to do this once, which is awesome. like we did for the small petals. I'm going to show you one more time just in case it doesn't translate exactly exactly the same. I think it's pretty similar but it's always good to show you twice. So on this one we are just going to again right along the side in a thin layer at the bottom and then really cover that whole stump with glue. And then we're just going to cross the legs again, just like that. Oh, and something I didn't mention on the um, small one is um, it's going to kind of want to be like that at first and you just want to bend it down. Don't fold it. It's really important not to fold um, the stump at all because um, the fibers in the petal, like uh, the fibers in the paper, um, will break if you give it a nice hard fold so you don't want to do that because if you uh, break those fibers you'll have a tendency um, to the petal will have a tendency to kind of almost wilt under the weight of gravity over like maybe a week or two um, so now at the top just like before we're just going to add a really thin little that's a little too much I'm going to take some of it off and crisscross them again, just like that. And again, wait for it to dry for a few minutes, um, just to make sure those glue bonds really set up before you um, put the spoon to it. And now we're just going to smooth out some of those really tight points because that's not really what a flower is 
and this um, and that's why you wait for the glue to dry because it'll want to kind of come apart if you don't which I didn't on this one because I wanted to show you how to do it but and there you go just like that and we're going to just cut off those little antennas I think I might have skipped telling you about that part of the step but it's pretty pretty evident we just want a nice pointy little little petal just like a uh, just like a real tool up and so you don't have to watch me do all of those I have some already done so we have this one uh, now I'm going to add a little bit of glue right to that stump And now we want we want the seam of this um, of the two when the two little petals meet they kind of make a little seam and we want the center of this first big petal to be right on that seam and it takes a little bit of care and careful but like I said for a tulip, petal placement is like the most important part. So we just want that. Oh, that's perfect. I love it. Okay. So because petal placement is so very, 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 very important, important for this petal. And this first large petal is really going to set up um, the, it's going to really set up the structure it's gonna all the the other two petals are really gonna want that first petal to kind of be its uh, armature almost so we just want it to dry so um let that dry and you can always um you know uh take a minute uh go do something else for a second watch a tv show maybe i would say make a, a start another tulip and by the time you get the center the first small petals done for that second tulip your first tulips will be dry but like please give this like some time to dry because um the petal placement is just gonna be way easier if you um take a little bit of time with it and really let those glue bonds set up so I have this one, which I um, did before I started this um, tutorial. And I think I might have even done it before I did my makeup. So this has been drying for a while. <laughs> I'll set this other one aside. Okay. So now we're just going to add the second petal. And again, we just want it to be um, kind of cover up the seam of the two of the three interior petals. So basically, the big petals go um, centered with the seam that the small petals make. And you don't have to wait a million years for um, for the second and third petal, large petals to dry. That first petal, for some reason, um, really just gives it the chance it needs to um, make sure nothing's going to move around because they it's going to really want to move around. <laughs> um, and they I don't know what it is about paper flowers, but no matter what the flower is, the petals are always going to want to kind of nest with each other, um, which doesn't look great ever. I've never really found something that um, you really want all those petals to nest with each other. You kind of want them to all be their own little thing. You worked so hard to make them just right and cut them and craft them and fold them and smooth them out. And then <laughs> so you want them to be their own thing and not really, you know, nest with each other. And now we're just going to add that, that third petal. Oh, that looks really good. I'm super happy with how this is um, coming out. So 
Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set that aside and guess what, it's gonna have to dry. I know, it's hard, it's hard, this is a hard one. It's a lot of patience that you need for the paper tulips. And this was one all dry. And now what we're gonna do is um, put secure the um, whole thing with a little bit of floral tape. And like I said, wait for it to totally dry because this floral tape will really push, it'll be a bully with your petals. It'll push them around. It'll ruin your perfectly uh, executed petal placement, which is so important with a tulip. You really just want it to be fully dry before you put on the, um, the last coat of floral wire, floral tape. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to give it one last coat all the way to the end. And something weird that happens with um, paper flowers, I don't know what makes it happen, but you can see there's like a little bit of um, floral stem that kind of pokes out and you can cover that up if you want to. You can leave it if you don't. Like, don't worry about it. Like, the whole thing is, um, you know, you want it to look nice for sure, but don't stress. Crafts are fun. So, as the, oh, actually, you know what? I have some already cut out over here. Okay, so these are stem strips. And you might say, Sarah, why do you have stem strips? They look exactly the same as that floral tape that you've been using. And I'll agree. They do look pretty similar to the color of floral tape that I use. But I think that anytime that there is a flat color in a flower, it kind of takes away from it. So as kind of a last step, stems, the stem paper comes in a sheet like this. And you just kind of separate it out. Um, I like to only do one side. Um, as you can see, I only cut on this side and I left the white on the other side just because when they overlap, you won't be able to see it. But make sure that all the white is covered. Um, so, it's super weird, but floral tape seems like it has almost no stick at all. But it actually has enough stick to... Um, bond with this paper that I use for the stem paper. So, and because the stem paper has a very, very, very subtle gradient to it, I think it just makes it look like it was live, or it is alive, or it's slowly dying in the way that cut flowers are. <laughs> okay, so that one was good. We got that all covered, and now I'm just going to Secure that with a teeny bit of floral tape because I found I got to the end of that piece of stem paper. And now, because I started at the light end and it went down to the dark, now I'm going to start at the dark end and work its way down again. So I'm just going to trim that white off and start again. And again, you just press it into the stem, into the floral wire, and it sticks, I don't know why it sticks. And you need a really gentle hand with the stem paper. Um, I think that if, it's very natural to wanna almost like pull it and you don't wanna do that um, because it'll rip. It's a very, very, very thin, delicate paper. But it works so good for this. Awesome. And that actually didn't go all the way to the bottom and like, if you don't like doing the stem paper, like I said, the floral tape is so close to the stem paper color that you could skip it and it would look almost 90, it would be 99% as good. <laughs> I just think that one little, I am obsessed with detail. I don't know if you've noticed um, from my floral designs, but I really, really am. And so that's just one more little detail that I like to add in. So you don't have to stress about it. That's another reason why I make paper flower kits is I want you to have the joy of making a really, really, really beautiful paper flower without all the work of um, 
painting because I know if you because my kits come with all the detail built right in but um otherwise you'd have to like do it all yourself and that's like you know 12 hours worth of work before you even start holding petals and now I am covering this stem with just a little bit of glue just to make sure that it is going to stay exactly the way it is forever. Because I think it came out real good. Awesome. And now you just let that dry and be careful because there is going to be a, like a minute or two um when before the glue is completely dry where it maybe even looks like it could be dry but you have to wait for it to completely dry um or else when you touch it it'll just kind of slough off um because it is a really thin delicate paper it's kind of like the next step up from tissue paper you know what they say about wet tissue paper it's really delicate <laughs> So anyway, uh, thank you so much for uh, joining me for this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or um, you can always email me or um, I'm on Instagram a lot. That's a really hot place to go see me. Uh, that's at Yakawanis, Y-A-K-A-W-O-N-I-S on Instagram. Um, I am there a lot. So if you want to get in touch, um, those are the ways. And if you want to buy the kit that makes these paper tulips, you can go to uh, paperchickadee.net. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, subscribe to this page if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.